Hello world, are you tired of writing hard-coded animation in Android app? And in case you may be wondering how much effort it will take to make such amazing animation, then this video is for you. What's up you guys, this is Saurav here and you're watching CodeBlock. Recently Google has released a new version of Android Studio 4.0 and it has some really cool updates. Today I'm gonna talk about one of them that is motion layout and motion editor in Android. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. First of all, what will you able to do at the end of this video? At the end of this video, you can easily make this kind of amazing animation effortlessly without any hassle and without writing any hard coded animation statement in your Android app. Then you must have a questions appear in your mind that what with the best practices of hard coded written animation that will be thrown away after this? I think so no, it will not be thrown away because they played a very important role in a transitions of views and activities and fragments. So it has a reserve place for it and it is really suitable with that uh, material design component having that amazing animation with it. Now I will quickly go through the project structures and files and what dependency you need for these projects like uh, to getting started with the motion layout and motion editor. So let's dive into the Android Studio. So this is uh, basically the XML file and the dependencies where you want to be updating like this one constraint layout. So basically you need to change this constraint layout. I have the updated one as the latest version of the constraint layout. So you may be varies with whenever you are watching this video. So make sure you update the it constraint layout to the latest version or the stable version. And uh, I'm using the data binding one. So if you want to know about uh, data binding and MVVM architectures and live data, yeah, I have one of the video in my channel. Uh, I will be adding the link of that video on the right corner of this video. So you can check it out. Now we will be moving to the XML file of this project. And here I will show how to convert the constraint layout into motion layout. We are using the data binding one. So we have to change this constraint layout into layout tag. Click alter enter on the XML file and convert that to data binding layout. Now you can see it is converted into layout file. Go to the design part of the project and right click on the constraint layout. Here you can see there is an option of convert to motion layout. Right click on it and yeah it is converted into motion layout. So what it has make difference in constraint layout and motion layout. Motion layout is a subclass of the constraint layout. So you can get all the properties of the constraint layout which has been added in the motion layout. It will be same as in working with the constraint layout but you will get additional editor features for this motion layout. Now I will quickly go through this uh, motion editor thing. So in order to show that motion editor, you can see here it is, you can, you cannot see that anything new in this editor. So what you need to do to show the motion editor is uh, just grab one of the widgets. Like in our case, we have this image view and I'm going to grab it and just drag and drop over the motion layout. And here you, I want to select this search icon because we are going to animate this search icon and yeah, you can see here it is added a one image view inside the motion layout. So whenever you click on it, you can see it's a new layout thing is popping up by the side of the attribute panel. This is the motion editor. So you can see it's uh, having consist of some three blocks and one arrow inside it. So I'm going to starting with the introduction with this start block. So what representing this start block is whenever the whenever you add attribute to the any of the widgets at the at this start selection of the start block, it will be like uh, before the animation state of that widget will be considered as a start block. And block will be considered as a be after the animations of the desired widgets position and uh, which of the attributes you want to change uh, after the animation is uh, representing by this end block and this arrow thing is the transition between two blocks so you can click on it and you can see that its uh, animation is going on so you can see the preview of it how it's going to be animated now i will start with the start block of the widget so what whatever whatever the position you i want uh, this widget before the animation so 
like if I make this animated this way and set the constraint of the icon so basically I'm going to center this icon before the animation so whenever he click on this animation it will be popping up that uh, it's uh, invis invisibling this uh, icon or it transitions that icon to here in the text editor and what it is doing the underneath of uh, this constraining is you can go inside this res and xml file you can see it's uh, having one constraint sense xml file now here you can see it's adding all of the constraint which I have been adding into the start block so here it is the start one so so you can see it's a start one and uh, it is adding all the properties and the constraints and all the thing of that widget here and uh, if I make that into end here you can see it's end one is empty and if I change that constraint to invisible because we don't want to position it uh, afterward because uh, it is like invisibling that icon and popping up that icon whenever you click on it so I just want to change that property of the visibility if I just click on it and add one another item visibility and gone so here you can see it's gone one so you can see here at the end transition before it was empty and after that I add the attribute on this it's a uh, gone visibility of that widget image view is gone after the animation before the animation I just position it into the center so this is with the, this widget and uh, now I'm going to add the text box which we will show whenever he click on this and uh, it will invisible this icon and visible that text box which is going to be search box whichever we will show here now I'm going to start with the uh, input text field so we just this website text field and uh, I'm just going to grab this material uh, component from this material website and just paste it here and here you can see it's having this unconstrained thing so we need to constrain it into the center basically whatever whatever you have did done with this uh, icon um, search icon you have to do this do it with this and not the end one after you adding the constraint so what I want this for this animation is like I'm going to make this uh, search box uh, as in visibility gone at the starting one at the end the visibility of this search box will be visible so I'm going to add this you can, here you can see that the start block is selected so I'm going to add the visibility attribute for the start one so it is like gone and when we go to the end one here you can see it's uh, not showing this constraint because it's uh, the motion editor is still on the beta mode so it might show you this error so what you should do with the, this kind of thing is uh, make you in just go to the file and invalidate cache and restart it it will restart the editor it will be okay now you can see that I have restarted the Android Studio and you can see it's the constraint are normal so you can add the constraint as per the center centering thus uh, this at the end of the animation so yeah the constraint is done and we just have to add the attribute for the you don't need to worry about this issue because it, it is the motion editor is still in the beta mode so whenever it will be in the stable mode it will no longer be there with this uh, android studio so now we will going to add the visibility attribute in it and yeah here you can see it's uh, i have added and if you go to that xml file here you can see it's uh, having the two constraints set is a start constraint set and end constraint set so it representing the start block and the end block of that uh, motion editor whichever the attribute i have set before the animation in the start block will be there with this like this you can see it's a image view thing so that that search icon and this is the text field that means that 
text box which I have added after that thing so what is the difference between this is like this is the visible icon before the animation and uh, this is the invisible uh, text box before the animation and here you can see after the animation it is alternative of this start to block visibility of that search icon is gone and the visibility of the text box is visible and uh, this is the transition thing so you can change the transition duration like if you want a faster transition of uh, that uh, search block click event so you can change that from here i prefer 300 duration 300 milliseconds for this animation and now i'm going to add the handler for the animation to be performed so i want this animation to be performed on the click of that search icon so i will add this tag on click and i will add the motion target id so motion target id would be image view which is the search icon and what kind of motion you want for this one so this will be the click action what click action would you like to perform in my click action i will be performing the toggle one now if I show you the transition, so from the start to end, you can see preview of this one. So now we will show that our actual output what we have made is by run the project in the device. So this Gradle build may be take time, so I will skip this uh, Gradle build. Now here you can see the Gradle build is over. This is our output. So here you can see that. Uh, toggle one is not uh, going to be performed because we don't have that icon visible so we need to perform the click of that uh, icon by programmatically so what we will do is uh, adding one button over in this search box and then we will be adding that click of that search icon will be visibling that icon and making this search box uh, to invisible so we will be adding the start icon drawable and the icon will be that search icon whichever we have one here you can see we have this search icon and now if i go to this uh, main activity dot java here you can say it is not uh, main data binded so we have to bind the data binding with this because we have already changed that layout to be layout tag and now we have to bind the data binding layout with this uh, java file so what we will do is uh, make the binding object private late in it where and binding and uh, it will be followed by activity main binding and now I will assign this binding object with this is equal to data binding utils dot set content view and this owner and the data binding is set now we can access the ob ui objects from using this binding object like whenever i click on this binding one and i'm going to add this text field dot start icon con set on click listener so whenever it is click on it we will we want to perform the uh, click on that search button search icon so now we will be performing the search button search icon click now here you can see it's a image view that search icon id so we will icon of that and perform click now here you can see we have managed to do that perform click by programmatically this perform click will be toggle this uh, click action so whenever you click on this one it will reverse the icon to be if it is uh, at the end of the animation it will go to the start and if it is start it will be go to the end so now we will run this app i'm going to skip this one again because it's a gradle building gradle build is over now we can see here it is the output of this app changes so here you can see it is having this icon whenever i click on it it will toggle that uh, animation yeah that's it we have made this animation you can know more about this from this websites and all the important links i will be adding in the description below so you can check out from there i hope you like this video and get some value out of it if so then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you keep up with the latest updates and trends in android until the next video 
keep coding and be safe